Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I will share you something about the shelf, the shelf toolbox in the Autodesk Maya, how you can use it and how you can get the benefit from the shelf or how you can create the shortcuts as well. So this will make your work easy. So let's look into it how to do it. So this is the Maya software, Maya interface you see, this is the viewport. And we'll talk about the shelf. So see, these all are the shelves. This is the shelf toolbox. And you see all the shelves here. Curves, surfaces, poly modeling, sculpting, rigging, animation, rendering. These are all the shelves. So what are they used for? To create the shortcuts. So all these things you see here, here are already there in the menus. But you will have to again and again go and search these options. So to save your time, shelves are used. And you see the custom tab here. This is the custom shelf where you can put your own shortcuts. Whatever you feel the options you are most using. So rather than going again and again into the menus, sub menus, you just create a shortcut here in the shelf. So how to create it now? Let's just see. You see this icon on the left side of the shelf toolbox. There is a settings icon. Just click on that and the shelf editor. Second option. Now a window will open in which you will see left hand side and right hand side. So the left hand side will show all the shelves. Whatever shelves you see here, those all the shelves will be seen on the left hand side. On the right hand side will be the content which is there inside that particular shelf which is selected. So suppose if I selected custom here, this is the custom and here you will see whatever shortcuts are there in the in the custom shelf. Now we have only one parent custom. So now it is showing only one. And whatever shelf name you select from here, it will automatically highlight on the viewport. So let's say motion graphics. So see we are into motion graphics now. Motion graphics shelf. So likewise, if you could go to animation, it will go to animation. Whatever shortcuts that are already created in animation shelf, it will appear. Now, let's say you want to create a new shelf. So how to create it? There is an option here, plus sign. The third option, just click on that, a new shelf will be created. See here. And you can rename the shelf from here. Suppose you rename it I am E shelf. Enter. And now you will see this is the shelf. And we have also these two, three shelves. Suppose I have created these shelves. So I just want to delete this shelf. So here is the option to delete the shelf. Delete. Okay. So the shelf will be deleted. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. So we have talked about the right hand side is the content. So again, save all shelves. If you go to this shelf, and now if you want to add certain shortcut, suppose you want to add outliner. So just select Control, press Control and Shift together, and then click on that particular option which you want the shortcut to be created. So I. Click on outliner, see the outliner will appear here. So either you go here like windows outliner, outliner will open or you now click on this outliner will open. So this is just amazing like using and saving your time to just run into menus again and again. So this is how you create a shortcut. Again you can also delete these as well from the same shelf editor. Go here, go on the right hand side, this is outliner, if you want to delete it, just click on delete and save all shelves. So you will be able to delete it. You can delete the shelf as well, I will just delete the shelf, delete, ok, save all shelves. So now, so this is how you use the shelf toolbox uh, for your convenience, for saving your time and increasing your productivity. So that's all about this video. 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless.